Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Chelsea. If you do not know that, you should know that though. I'd appreciate it if you subscribe. We're trying to get to 100,000 subscribers. Comment for engagement, all that, that really helps me as well. I appreciate you so much. Nothing like being transparent about how being a content creator works, right? Well, this person doesn't understand that. So if you don't know, as Peter Mon would say, if you don't know what you don't know, it's a lot. But Michaela Nuguera, I have done a video on her already going over some problematic things, why I believe that she is an unethical influencer, the most recent Lashgate, Mascaragate thing. And there are a lot of people who have made other videos about it too. Um, Really, really, really good updates that are like super concise and just have everything you could ever want in them. So I will put a lot of those in the description box. Also, I don't want to be one of those people that's like, pardon my appearance, but we're in the middle of selling our house. So I had to like go somewhere for the first half of the day. So I just, I went to the beach and like worked and had lunch. It was very nice, but I'm also very tired because I'm pregnant. <laughs> very, very tired right now. I wanted to take a nap and then someone texted me and said, Michaela is back at it again. So Michaela has returned to TikTok. She has returned to the interwebs. And I even asked on social media and a lot of other people asked as well on Twitter, that's a, where a lot of this discourse has gone down. And a lot of people have said like, oh, she'll either ignore it or she will talk about it next week. A lot of people have said that she'll say, you know, blame it on mental health and mental health issues, mental health uh, conditions, diagnoses. Those don't give you the, like, it's not an excuse or they don't keep you from being held accountable for your shitty behavior. Um, for instance, I'm diagnosed with multiple mental health hiccups, as I like to say. And yes, in like the, like in your first encounter with me, you know, you might think I'm a bitch or, you know, you might think I'm like too blunt or a mean girl. But then once you get to know me, you're like, oh no, you just got a touch of the tism, as I like to say. Um, you know, she's not being rude. She just, she just, she literally cannot <laughs> sugarcoat things and just doesn't do that. She doesn't add, you know, all the emojis and all that. When, you know, I DM her, I'll, I just ask me a question. I give you the answer. That's it. I'm not going to, why, why, why do anything else? You know, that's exhausting. I can't do that. There's no need to do that. I'm um, just a very assertive communicator um, and a bit autistic. So um, there's that. And that's just an example um, of Angelique um, or Orlas, Olas. I'm Angelica, I'm so sorry. I'm butchering your name. I love her though. She's put out some really good content um, about this situation too, about other situations as well. And she actually said that on Twitter too. So I want to kind of like address that as well, that Michaela's don't give her a free pass to break the law and to break FTC guidelines and to literally not do her job correctly and to be unethical in that manner and a lot of people have said a lot of people have brought this up well it's just mascara no it's you breaking the law it's you not abiding by ftc guidelines those are there for a reason it's you lying to your audience and a lot of people thought that she would come back and say i'm sorry let's talk about this blah 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 but instead she posted this a week later millions of views later and a week later i'm sure we all know why we've all gathered here today. It's the month. Anyone who knows me knows I'm not on Valentine's Day, okay? But these these eyeshadow looks are about the hit. All right, people, please. We're coming out the gate. I feel like we gotta do something really sick today. Valentine's Day is right up there with Christmas for me, okay? I'm a hopeless romantic. If you're a member of the Bad Bitch Beauty Boot Camp, strap up and get ready to get uncomfortable with this one. Doing double cut crease, red and pink, and I'm gonna be using the Love Tapes palette from Pete Louise, if you're wondering. So I'm actually gonna drop my cut crease with a red eyeshadow base, and I'm using a really, really tiny angled brush. Listen to me, listen to me, listen to me. You wanna hear that I can shit? You're gonna take the angled brush, you're gonna stat in your corner, and you're just gonna send it. Just send it. It doesn't have to be neat, okay? It, it's not neat at all. I'm gonna take red eyeshadow, medium blending brush. Now, you can start laying the eyeshadow on top, okay? It's that pigment so dynamic. Now, when you want a deep red, black shadow, this is my cabin. Watch what I want to add action in that crease. A little bit of the black, okay? This isn't going to get black. What it is going to do is make it deeper and more. The key is to use just a little and go slow. And again, I'm literally in the soft. Okay, now I'm going to really blend red and make it slanted. So, from this to this, taking a red shade in it right of where did the line, take it all the way and Okay, now I'm going to paint. It's just in the color. Lay of the paint, top of the paint, with a pink the edge. I'm taking a bone of the
So it looks like actually since um, someone told me that she had posted again, she's actually posted two videos, which the only reason I would think that she would post two videos or one video and not ad like before addressing the thing that she absolutely should be addressing the video that has almost 50 million views which is crazy for her content that's like 10 times more than what she usually gets the only reason that in my mind as a fellow content creator that you would post like prioritize one video over another over a very important one of you addressing this and apologizing to lot like for lying to your audience would be would literally be a brand deal is that you have a deadline to go by. So for instance, I want to post a video on Friday that has to do with another very unethical influencer. She's a scam artist, essentially, in my opinion. I want to post that video on Friday, something that's been going on with her. She literally kidnapped her team. She's in a multi-level marketing company. She kidnapped her, kid, kidnapped her team. Let's not say kidnap, but lied to them and like gaslit them. And it's just like such cult leader shit. It's crazy. I want to post that on Friday, but I have a sponsorship that I put on another video that I'm waiting for them to approve. And I have to put that one out on Friday to ensure that I'm not in breach of the non-compete that I have with them because I have a like, I've already signed a contract with one of their competitors for the next month. So I have to make sure I time those perfectly. So the video that I really want to put on, on Friday, which is just completely different content, will be put out hopefully on like Monday. Does that make sense? Like that's the only reason as a content creator myself that I would think that she would put up other videos that like this is sponsored content rather than just addressing it. Like I can't. Like you're just clearly all about money and don't care about, don't care about your audience. Okay, I'm gonna shut up. We're gonna watch these two TikToks. We are hitting off the month of love with a bang and eyeshadow look. Hey, I'm setting the paint with a baby pink eyeshadow. I want it to be fully dragged down. We're gonna add glitter. Okay, this combo is like so pretty. Hey, I think I want to do a liner with the same base we started with. Basically, I put some on my finger, take a liner brush, because this is not liner, it's a base, but I want it the same exact color. And I'm just laying it down so I'll be able to get a real sharp wing. And then I'm gonna start some out with eyeshadow. It's a fun pat. Glitter from Sheen, and it's called Kathy. Oh my God, it's gonna look cool. You know, the next glitter, glitter baby pink area then go in i just look cool because like confetti it's not like it's not like a true like pretty cool and ask the fall briefly elephant okay, <laughs> okay i'll pink on the cut it's a red line a little bit of So is she not going to put gifted with this Valentine's Day collection? That's I know it might not seem like a big deal, but yeah, if you're if you are gifted something and then you're making content with it, if you receive something in PR, you need to either say this was sent to me in PR, which I could be a complete dum dum, and she could have just said that, and I just glossed right over it because I was looking through the comments, or she just didn't even say it at all, and I think that's the case. Um, she didn't hashtag it either. If you just hashtag it and don't say it, like that's okay. For instance, whenever I try to think of something that was gifted um there's nothing on my oh here um for instance i like the uh was this the, yeah this is the brow one uh the vegamore grow serum it's their brow serum it has really helped my i, I have i make um eyebrow 
I have eyebrow makeup on right now, so you clearly can't see, but I'm hoping to get sponsored by them in the future. And then I'm gonna show my like before and afters because I have been tracking it. I did shave off my eyebrows a long ass time ago, like a long, 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 long time ago, and they just stopped growing. So, and I don't pluck them. I don't, I hardly do anything with them. I mean, I guess that's a lie because <laughs> a few, like a year ago, I got frustrated and shaved off the tail. But anyways, it's, that's different. So this has really helped my eyelashes grow. It was gifted to me by Vegamore. They sent me this. They sent me a whole ass PR packet. I really like them. And right there, that's me being ethical. That's me following FTC guidelines. And it's literally not that hard. It doesn't make you a shitty influencer. It doesn't mean that you can't be trusted. If your audience is gonna be super illogical and be like, and be like, oh, I can't trust you because this is sponsored, then I, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, if every single thing you're doing is sponsored, if everything you're using, you're getting in PR and you feel like you can't be honest about it, that's still on you. And if the company takes you off PR, like, yeah, that sucks. But even if, if you're not being paid for it, you should be honest about it. If you are being paid for it, you should also be honest about it, but you should work that out before the sponsorship and be like, well, let me try the product first, see if I like it. And then, yeah, if I like it, then sure, sponsor me, you know? That's why, like, I've waited with Vegamore because I wanted to use the product for six months to be able to tell if I liked it. And I do really like it. It helped me grow my tails a little bit more. So yeah, <laughs> it's not that hard. Now this one says, I saw this vid early as hell just for um, just for no response on Mascara Gate. She, someone said she doesn't owe you anything. Yeah, as a viewer, as a customer, as part of her audience, as part of the reason she got where she is, yes, absolutely. She lied to you, so she does owe you something. Someone said she does. Someone else said, exactly. She's earning a living just like every other big creator on here. If you're going to hate on her, you better be doing it to them too. Oh my Lord, I have to say this with the MLM scammers all day long. So I'll say it here with influencers too and some of their dumbass audience. Hating on someone is not the same as calling them out for unethical behavior or straight up illegal behavior. That's not the same thing. If being held accountable for your own shitty actions feels like an attack clearly you need to figure your shit out okay got it thank you saying like you're an ugly blah 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 whatever you're fat you're dumb like your com your content sucks that's not constructive feedback saying hey Michaela you should have put sponsored on that having L'Oreal partner there for five seconds in that certain place in the video that's not good enough according to FTC guidelines there were people, there were uh, people in her fan base literally trying to argue with a lawyer on Twitter about this. And you can try to argue with me about it too, but you ain't gonna get very far at all because guess whose literal job and career it is to debunk internet scammers? This dumb bitch. All right, uh, more people said blank stare, no comment, huh? And then I don't know if she deleted it, but I can't find it on here. But my good pal, Isabella Lanter, sent it to me. Um, I will have everything of hers linked down below. She's great. Please go follow her. That said the start of the video because she made it seem like she was going to address the situation at hand, which clearly she doesn't. It's at the start of the video, laughing face, laughing face. And then she, Michaela commented on it. So she's in the comments. She's seeing them. And she put wide eyes and a shocked emoji. She just really does not care. And I think it's just showing like what not good of like a person she is. And it's very, very unfortunate. Other people are saying she's back. I missed you. She tricked you. The level of unbothered. And someone said, what is there to worship? She's a scammer and cannot prove her promises to her audience. Yeah, preach. Exactly. Like some of these, some of these people are just like, yeah, you tell them, girl. Tell them what? That you're not going to remain at ethical and do your job correctly, that's not okay. That's not okay at all. And also, I know it might sound dramatic, but that's putting the rest of this industry at risk. Just so you know, when the biggest people on the platforms F it up and aren't doing good stuff, the rest of the industry can suffer. A great example of that is the multiple adpocalypse, adpocalypses, apocalypse, apocalypse, <laughs> that have, you get it, that have happened with YouTube, that have really hurt a lot of channels and a lot of creators. It has sucked previously. Thank God commentary is like, okay, but someone else commented and said she's back and Michaela commented and said specifically for him. Oh my God, even Matt Cosmetics commented and said, there she is. Really, you guys? The non-apology response is kind of everything. Why? Why is that kind of everything? Like, it, this is it's just so, 
so unfortunate and just so gross. Someone said she just pulled off the most successful PR stunt in history. You can pull off a PR stunt without breaking FTC guidelines and without lying to your audience. Like, is it a PR stunt or did she just mess up and lie to her audience and then not take accountability for it? Like, she's just ignoring it. Most of these comments are saying like, I adore you, get your coin, yes, queen, not even a side eye, just a blank stare. Like she's just making fun of it and it's not funny. Like sh she's lost a lot of respect from her peers. And I, I don't wanna say I think that's more important than losing the respect and trust of your audience. I think it's just as important, but a lot of people, a lot of people in the industry commentary and you know in the the beauty space as well have absolutely lost respect for her it's not good this one says be who you are and don't get negative don't let negativity get to you i love you and couldn't wait to watch your content well with that type of username what you think is irrelevant user 618-571-245-3876. Whatever you comment, doesn't matter if you have a username like that. But again, I understand like she is getting negativity. Yes, I think some people do take it too far. However, facts and being called out for your unethical or shitty behavior is not negativity. Not everyone who speaks out against you or speaks out against wrong things <laughs> Someone not doing the right things, black and white, right and wrong, illegal and legal, ethical and unethical. Not all those people are jealous. I got so many comments that were like, oh my God, you're jealous of what? Would I like to make that much money? Sure, but I'm not gonna throw away my soul and lie to my audience all the time as she does. She, I look through her content. She's done so many undisclosed ads, so many, especially with how much money she made last year. So many, because I was looking through it, I was like, she didn't do that many disclosed ads. What the hell? And then I looked through and I was like, oh, I, I can see all the undisclosed ones. So yeah, that's pretty crazy. So no, I'd rather be ethical, not sell my soul for money, not lie to my audience for money and make a, a good amount of money, which I do. That also has nothing to do. That's that's an illogical fallacy. That is that is a straw man fallacy, if you will. If you don't know what that is, if you're not part of my usual audience, look it up anyways. Or an ad hominem, I guess. It would actually be more of an ad hominem because you're trying to insult me instead of my argument because you can't you can't and come back because you have nothing to add to the argument because you know i'm right that's it yeah anyway all right so it's super unethical she's not she's not doing anything um just ignoring it and i guess going on about her life and just gonna make more money on tiktok uh by lying to her audience so that that's great man oh my god she just posted another one what the if you would ever be willing to come out with a fragrance-free version of the same exact powder. I am, I am speechless. It happened. In case you missed it, I love the Huda Beauty scent powder, right? But I, can, I can't use it that much because it's so heavily fragranced that it fucking hurts my eyes. So I said, fuck it. I'm just gonna fucking ask if I can get a fragrance-free version. <laughs> there it is. Now there is a note. It says, we know you love that easy pick as much as we do, but you prefer fragrance-free option. So as a little early wedding present, we want to send you a sample for the big day. Oh my god. But wait until you actually see them. You guys are gonna die. I broke the fucking tears. Can I saw these? So... First of all, there's multiple shades, and it says Huda Beauty Easy Bake Fragrance Free right on the box, and it says Just for Michaela on the box. <laughs> and then this is when I was like, that tattoo of my feet. So I'm assuming these are all the videos that she like had to get out over the last week, and she's just posting all of them now because like three in one day, that's a lot for her to post. But again, like this one already has so many views within one within minutes. Literally, like it was posted seven minutes ago, and it already has. It has over 100,000 views already. And again, I'm looking through the comments. She's in the comments. I mean, she's clear, she's clearly on her phone, on her laptop, whatever. She's responding. A lot of people are saying, uh, Huda Beauty's regretting this now. The silence is so loud. Dang, still no response. And the thing is that no response or choosing to not respond, it's still a response. It's still a pretty loud response. Some people are saying, unbothered queen. How are you okay with supporting someone that, clearly doesn't care about you and just puts money ahead of being honest with you. That's so messed up. Someone comments and said, you're iconic. You don't owe anyone anything. Someone else commented and said, the least she can do is simply apologize for lying to the people who have made her rich. One million percent. Yeah. Uh, girly, we love you, but we need an update with the lash chaos. I update. I'm sure they probably mean apology. Yeah, a lot of people are asking for an apology, but there are a lot, of, a lot of just people in here who are just sucking her butt, who just don't care and are just like, move on with grace. No. Oh, people still talking about the mascara are people that think that the burgers and commercials are made out of real food. 
we're not, t- we're, those are two different things. A commercial on TV, I understand that they're going to make it look better than it is. A lot of times in very small print, they will have that on there. Like I've, I've worked with like food stylists and on sets like that and stuff. I get it. Is that technically also false advertising? Like, yeah, if it looks so good and then you get it and it looks like shit. Yeah, that's also not right. You shouldn't do that. One thing being not right or you thinking it's okay doesn't mean that something else being someone else lying to their audience. Like it's, it's not, it doesn't. Two things can be true at once and those two things don't equal each other. Especially when she's saying, these aren't lashes. Like I do not have lashes on. And like saying over and over again, these are not false lashes. This is just the mascara. And then also not disclosing that it is an ad. When I'm watching a commercial, I know it's a commercial. I know it's an advertisement for that thing. Later on, she put on there that it was sponsored content. Yes, because she probably got so much shit for it. She realized she had to. And what a lot of huge influencers will do, they will go back after the fact, after they've gotten like the most views on it, which usually happens within the first two days. Then they will go back and click the little thing on reels, on Instagram stories, on TikTok, whatever, on YouTube. Like, you know what you're doing at that point. She's not dumb. She knows how social media works. If I know that with almost 100,000 subscribers, she knows that with over 14 million people. Like, she's not an idiot. So she lied to you. She lied to you purposefully, absolutely lied to you and has been putting out sponsored content without disclosing it for years. And it's the worst. It's unethical. It's not okay. And she's lying to the people, the very people who have made it to where she has this huge audience to make make it to where she can make this type of money because of the sponsorships, because these brands want to work with her because she has this huge audience. So yes, essentially she, in my opinion, is lying to the people, not disclosing properly to the people who have made her rich. And that's not okay because without you, she would have nothing. Why why does she care so little about you? I just finished downloading those videos and I'm going to refresh now. And I swear to God, if she has put up another one, that'd be four in one day and no apology. Okay, I just refreshed and she hasn't posted another one. I mean, this was all from one look, so whatever. But wow, man, that's fucking crazy. Um, All of these already have uh, the first two of over a million already. They were posted less than, all three of these were posted within the last two hours. And she's already gained an extra five million, let's just say extra five million views from them. Um, By the time I post this, it's going to be a lot more because people are thinking maybe she's going to say something. But no, she doesn't. Like, how can you care so little about your audience? Like, that's... That sucks. Unfortunately, there are people who just don't care about that and who are just gonna follow her no matter what. But I hope that some people really open their eyes to people like this and content creators like this who just put money first and don't care about the people who got them there and their audience. Speaking of which, we're probably gonna hit 100, me, this channel, us, us as a collective, as a group of spicy people. Um, We're probably gonna hit 100,000 subscribers by end of next week. Um, I think we're almost at 99,000. And I just wanna say I appreciate you so much. Obviously, like I wouldn't be able to do, I wouldn't be able to be living the life that I live right now, buying a new house, (laughs) being able to take two naps during the day if I need to, because this freaking fetus is killing me. I swear to God, MJ, when you grow up, if you ever see this video or any of my content, just know that these people watching made it to where I was able to just take naps during my pregnancy. Jesus, it sucks. I don't know how people are like, pregnancy's great. Meanwhile, I'm like, I want to take a nap. Anyways, so I appreciate you so much. I have all the all the respect and all the love for the um for the moms that have to and pregnant individuals who have to work like full time nine to five jobs like in office and stuff like that. I would be miserable. So I appreciate you so much. Thank you for watching my content. Thank you for subscribing. If you're not already subscribed, please consider it. I would appreciate it so much. Double or triple check if you are subscribed. That would mean the world to me. I'm gonna go ahead and edit this video real quick. It is February 1st. Hopefully I can get it up today. And I don't know how some of these people make these videos so quick and they're so up to date. I swear to God, by the time I post this video, she's probably gonna put up another video. Talking to you, Angelica, how the fudge are you so quick? She's so quick. And so is like tea spill and spill sesh and all them. (laughs) I can't be a tea channel. I really can't. That's not what I do. I'm just an anti-scam commentary channel. Anyways. I love you. Stay spicy. That sign says stay spicy, not stay sploy, stay spla, whatever you think it says. Stay spicy. That means remain assertive. Know that your feelings matter. You are valuable. Keep up those boundaries. Keep being your badass self. And remember that your feelings are valid, okay? And if you are mad at Michaela or disgusted with her, and I mean, don't be like mean to her, but if you think that it's like you feel yucky about the situation and disrespected as someone who liked her, your feelings are valid because she lied to you. I get it. Okay, I'll see you in my 
next video. Hopefully she gets her shit together. And if you comment anything obnoxious, you're going to be blocked because I don't care. Okay, goodbye.